Steph Standridge with Keller Williams Realty. And for this week's episode of Hometown Feature Business Friday, I've brought you to downtown Crestwell, Oregon. Now, for those of you not familiar with Crestwell's location, it's about 13 miles south of Eugene, right on Interstate 5 at exit 182. And the downtown district is located just west of the interstate over the railroad tracks. Now, today is a pretty typical gloomy, cloudy, and a bit of a wet Oregon winter day. And on a day like today, one of the things that turns my mood around is a yummy sugary treat. So today I brought you to Bigfoot Fudge Factory. Now Bigfoot Fudge Factory is located at 25 North 1st Street. And the easiest way to find it is to go to the intersection of 1st and Main, or more formally Oregon Avenue. And it's located just behind Los Cabos Mexican Restaurant. So let's go in and check them out. Okay, folks, I'm here with Johnny of Bigfoot Fudge Factory. So Johnny, give us a little history about Bigfoot Fudge. Sure, and thank you for stopping in. So Bigfoot Fudge Factory has been in business for four years in Crestwell. We'll celebrate our fifth year in 2021 in November. Started it out as a, just a side hustle. Had a regular nine to five job, if you will. Started it out of the house. Was licensed to do so with the domestic kitchen. And, um, Things just kind of started to grow. I had a lot of interest from other uh, uh, stores and what have you. And, um, it, it was always part of the deal to just do this full time, but it wasn't going to happen until a few years later. But anyway, had such an interest in it that we thought, you know what, let's let's give it a run. Um, put in my uh, um, notice, and um, so anyway, I have 21 retail partners. Um, and then in November of uh, 2019, I signed a contract with the University of Oregon. Uh, my first year's contract was for 10,000 pieces of fudge, which meant that I was gonna spend a lot of time in the family kitchen, and so I needed more space. And um, found this location where I'm at now, and uh, uh, moved in, and it was just going to be, so 2020, January, I signed a, 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 a contract or a lease to be here. Anyway, um, here we are a year later, put up a store. I've added saltwater taffy, cinnamon roasted nuts. So it, it all started with the fudge and, and my sweet tooth. And, 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 and actually went to a uh, wedding reception where they were uh, serving fudge. And they, they made the mistake and sat me next to the fudge table. And um, you don't, you know, set somebody with a sweet tooth next <laughs> to the sweets like that. And it was just, it was amazing fudge. Uh, turns out that it was, um, a co-worker of my wife's uh, that his mom made the fudge so she was able to uh, we were able to reach out to her and she actually became a mentor and, and taught us and and taught me and and uh, and I just kind of ran from there and um, so what started out as a side hustle is now my my regular job and I just love it so much um, so it's beautiful that's awesome so the fudge is made right here in the storefront here in the back of the commercial kitchen and what do you, would you say are your top three flavors of fudge? Well, you know, I offer so many flavors. Uh, I have those 12, 15 flavors that I make all the time. And I try to really keep it interesting for those that come and buy factory direct. Because, uh, and I keep it simple out in the other stores just so that the, the choices aren't so tough. But um, with all the, I don't know if exotic's the right word, but with all the flavors that I have, uh, chocolate and peanut butter are still my top sellers. But um, orange cream, um, mint chocolate and then I have one that's called peanuttiest there as of late that has just kind of blown up and it's a combination of chocolate peanut butter um, caramel peanuts and some cookie crunch on top it's like a Snickers bar it's just amazing uh, but then also the mango habanero and those spicy ones of uh, jalapeno ones that I sell are, are pretty popular so it's just really whatever you know the folks are feeling but I would say the top ones though right now with the orange cream, peanuttiest, and the mint. All right. And you mentioned you have some, you had 21 retail locations, you said? That's right. 21 retail partners. I, um, uh, from in, in Eugene, Springfield, Lowell, uh, here in Cresswell, of course, Cottage Grove. And I have a partner up in Salem that, uh, uh, the Willamette Pi, uh, Valley Pie Company. And that's where I buy my Marion Berries for my Marion Berry fudges. So, uh, it just turns out that they were interested in having the fudge, so I go up that way. And so the growth has just been so amazing. It's just, it's great. 
That's awesome. And for our viewers that maybe aren't in the area, um, can you purchase any of the fudge or any of your other retail items online? Great question. Yeah, absolutely. Please visit us at BigfootFudgeFactory.com. You can order online. The same deals that you get in, in store, you can find online. So you can mix and match, get a family deal. You buy five for 20, get the six piece free. We ship all over the country and those, those options are available to you on the website. A lot of times, flavors are always changing. So uh, I say that if, if you go on there and you're looking for something uh, and you don't see it or you wanna make sure that it actually is there, um, give me a call. And, and I'd be happy to go over the list of different flavors that I have. Again, it's always changing, but, but yes, you can always order online. And as a courtesy, a lot of times I'm doing a lot of deliveries. If it's a local person that maybe can't get out because of COVID or what have you, um, I, I don't mind doing the delivery, you know, making it part of the trip. And how about this great apparel that I'm seeing over here? Thank you. Yeah, I, I, it's just, you know, something that I've always wanted to do as well. You know, I, I had some shirts made for myself early on. And um, as the growth came in and the store popped open, I thought, you know what, I'm going to have um, some shirts just made to sell and some caps. And so uh, they, they, you know, it's just been so wonderful the way that people have just, to see them outside walking around with a Bigfoot Fudge Factory t-shirt, it, it still makes me so happy to see those type of things. Well, that's great. And then we've got the fudge right here, folks. You can see all the different flavors that are currently available and not just those two stands. In fact, there's two more stands over here. As you heard, there's like 16 or more different varieties of fudge here. Actually, so and I didn't mean to cut you off, but we'll, a lot of times we like to try to carry 35, 40, 45 oh, wow. different flavors at a time in the store. So that's uh, great. The, 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 the recipes are endless, if you will. Certainly don't make them all. But uh, I, I really like to try to keep a fresh variety of flavors in store for, so people can try something new. And then how, talk to me about the cinnamon glazed nuts over here. Are those yeah. made in-house? Yes, they are made in-house. And uh, I think it's just so wonderful. It's really funny. I'm, I'm located right next to a Mexican restaurant. And whenever I'm roasting the nuts in-house, um, it, it seems like it never fails. One of them is going to come over and say, <laughs> Okay, I can't, I can't take it anymore. I need some nuts, you know, because it, they smell so wonderful. But it was just something that we wanted to add um, to uh, just go right along with the fudge, you know. Not everybody wants some, some fudge, so we're going to offer you some nuts, but just a wonderful addition to the, to the business. All right, so we've got apparel fudge, of course, nuts, and even saltwater taffy. So you don't even have to go all the way coast to get that right now, folks. And then one of the things I noticed and one of the things, unfortunately, that we are all wearing as an assessor are these Bigfoot masks. Yeah. And yeah. so do you ship these across the country too? I do. As a matter of fact, we made a post on Facebook uh, earlier in the week and it just caught fire. Uh, people started reaching out to us. Very next day, I was shipping to Alabama. I was shipping to Texas, down to Grants Pass, and I do ship across the country. It doesn't matter. So yes, I do ship those as well. Um, and for the masks for now, I would say reach out to me on Facebook. Uh, or call me and we can make arrangements to get yourself because they're not online, but uh, they're made uh, here locally in Crestwell too. It's a great husband and wife team that live uh, here in town. And uh, she's a seamstress that's, that's done it for better than 40 years, quite professional. And their style of mask is just uh, so comfortable, sits off of your face. And uh, so we figured, you know what? We had some for Christmas, they sold. Uh, and like you said, masks are going to be around for a little while yet so we thought you know what after the fourth or fifth customer came in asking for masks i said well let's order up some more material and get some made and uh get that post out there and they've just kind of flown off the rack so it's wonderful that's awesome and if you guys didn't notice i'll take a closer look at those masks there they've got the signature bigfoot for a bigfoot fudge factory is there anything else you want to tell us johnny well yeah you know um coming in uh, next month, uh, I'm so excited to, to announce that we're going to have ice cream. Uh, so fudge, saltwater taffy, roasted nuts, peanut brittle, the mask, all the neat little novelty stuff, t-shirts, caps, and then Prince Puckler's ice cream. Uh, the Robertson family has agreed to, uh, to allow me to carry their unique and gourmet ice cream. Um, and make Bigfoot Fudge a, a part of that family. And so I'm super excited about that. Not only that, um, 
come uh, March 1, I'm going to close for the day or two. I'm going to do some remodeling in here because obviously the size that I'm at right now, my uh, ice cream cabinet would not fit. So I'm going to take the opportunity to, to uh, put some new flooring down, kind of spruce the place up. Just kind of a way of saying thanks to, to the community to, to coming out and, and supporting my small business. And, uh, but ice cream, I'm so excited. And, and everybody that I've spoken with, uh, whether it's in the store, on Facebook, what have you, uh, are familiar with Prince Pucklers. Um, but more than that, are just excited about having ice cream back in town. And so, um, I don't know if nervous is the right word. I'm excited to the fact that I want to make sure that I do it right, you know. For one, I want to make sure that I, I, I present Prince Puckler's ice cream the way it needs to be because it's such a wonderful thing. But, uh, but I also want to just make that experience good and, and whenever the customers come in, you know. I've got the fudge end of it out and everything else. So, so the ice cream, I think that I'm going to pick up on it pretty quick too. But I'm super excited about being able to offer those. So the growth is continuing, and, and that's a big one for me. I just It, it, it was a, a goal early on. Um, another one of my goals from day, from day one, if you will, was to be a part of Made in Oregon um, and, and what they've got going on in their stores. And I've actually had an opportunity to, to, to sit with the meeting, finally with them. On Monday of this of this week, and uh, handed over some fudge, and they're going to sample it and check it out. And I, I think that we're going to we're going to see eye to eye, and, and and pretty soon, hopefully, I can say, you know, you can find me online and made in Oregon or at their stores around the around the state. Um, so there's a lot going on, and uh, I, I, it, even with everything that's awful in the world with this pandemic. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy to be able to share a little bit of this good stuff with folks and give them a little bit of a break from the, the nuttiness that's going on. That's a great way to put it. And reminder folks again um, of your store hours right now here in Crestville and then the website address. Absolutely. Uh, Monday, Monday through, I was going to say Monday through Friday because that's usually the, the whole catch thing, right? <laughs> Every day of the week I'm here, 12 to 5. Uh, a lot of times I'm here earlier and, and most times even a little later. Uh, if you see my vehicle parked out there, don't don't hesitate. Give me a call. I'll let you in. But 12 to 5 every day, uh, you can find me online at BigfootFudgeFactory.com, uh, Facebook, Bigfoot Fudge, um, and then pretty soon, extended hours whenever ice cream comes along. So, yeah, but 25 North 1st Street, Cresswell Suite number 2. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time, Johnny. We do appreciate it. Okay, folks, so that's it from Bigfoot Fudge Factory. Just remember, tastes so good, it's hard to believe. I'm Steph Standridge with Keller Williams Realty. Remember, if there's anyone that you know that has real estate needs, give me a call, 541-228-2950, or connect with me here on Facebook Messenger. I'd love the chance to earn your business. Join me next week to see which uh, business I feature on Feature Business Friday. Um, if you have an idea for a business, drop me a note in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and please support your local businesses.